Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of link that is language integrated query and in this video we are going to study the concept of implicitly typed local variables. Basically we are studying link specific programming construct means the programming construct which are necessary to learn the link. Okay, so first of all we are going to study the concept of implicitly typed local variables and which are generally defined by var keyword. So let us see this part in detail. So what is implicitly type local variable? The lo implicitly type local variables are those variables which are declared without specifying the dot type explicitly. It means you will not define any dot net data type while declaring your variable. Okay, that is called as implicitly type local variable. Now, then how will be the data type of your variable will be defined or recognized? Basically, it is automatically deduced at compile time from the value to initialize the variable. Okay, means whatever value you are going to initialize to that variable according to the value type, the data type of your variable will be automatically determined. Now, where it is useful? Basically, it is not designed to replace the normal variable declaration. See. If you are sure about the data type of variable, then definitely it is good programming practice to define your variable of that specific type. Okay, but when to use this implicitly type variable? Specifically, these are designed to handle the special cases like link. So, many times in link, what happens? We cannot decide the data types. Okay, or output type given by the link. In that case, these implicitly type variables are very helpful okay now let us see how to use implicitly type variables in c sharp so implicitly type variables are generally declared using var keyword so while declaration instead of using any specific data type what you will say var and then your variable name now let us see one more important point related to var or implicitly type variable See, it is not allowed to use var as a parameter value or return type in any method or you cannot define it at a class level, okay, because the scope of this implicitly type variable is what? Local. Now, let us understand all this thing with practical. Here, I already created one console application link step by step, okay, and it is in C sharp. And I added one class file and I name it as var demo, okay, as well as one main method is also added. So let us see how to use implicitly type variable first. So to use implicitly type local variable, you have to use var keyword, okay, and then after you have to specify a name of your variable, say max, and it is very compulsory to assign some value to it. Okay, now here if you observe, look at here, what is the data type of this max variable? It is int. So data type of implicitly type variable is determined by its value. If you assign some string type of value, say hello, and if you determine the data type of this, now it will be of what? It is of type string. Okay, so whatever value you will assign according to that, your variable data type will be decided okay now let us see one more characteristic let me delete this first now second characteristic is that you cannot declare implicitly type variable without any initialization because as we studied earlier the data type of your implicitly type variable is decided from its value which is assigned to it or which is used to initialize it means if I declare some variable like this and I do not assign value to it look at here it will show you an error implicitly type local variable must be initialized now let us see one more important point it is not allowed to declare multiple implicitly type variable on a single statement let me show you okay means if you try the statement something like this a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 
and c is equal to 9 something like this okay this statement is not allowed look at here implicitly type read the last line okay implicitly type local variables cannot have multiple declarators means if you have multiple variables or in multiple implicitly type variables you will separately declare it on each and every line like this okay then only it will be considered as valid now next important point is that you cannot initialize your implicitly type variable with null okay see if i say var x is equal to null x is equal to null this statement will generate an error look at here cannot assign null to implicitly type local variable okay now now it is not allowed to initialize your implicitly type variable with more than one type let us say it practically okay now see let me put a comment here if you declare one variable say var then say sum is equal to 20 so initially you initialize it with int and on the next statement suppose you are trying to initialize it with other value like float or double this statement will be considered as invalid why because once you assign a value to that variable its data type is decided okay now it is of type integer now you cannot assign the different type of value you can only assign the integer type of value okay now next important point is that your class field type cannot be of var type means your field field type cannot be implicitly type local variable see if i write this statement say var see look at here first of all i am not getting intellisense and still i am trying to write something say name is equal to say xxx okay see look at here this since this is a keyword it should get highlighted with a blue color right but it is not so what error it is showing it is showing that the type or name space name var could not be found so basically your implicitly type variable see it is implicitly type local variable you can use it in, use it in locally only you cannot use it as a class field type so i hope you understand this concept and definitely while studying the link concept we are going to use it thank you